Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today I'm excited, I'm gonna be checking out episode nine of Firefly called Ariel. You guys know I really appreciate everybody who's joining me here. You guys are awesome. Having a great time doing these with you. I'm really trying to cherish these moments before I'm out of Firefly to watch. You only get to experience it for the first time once, so I'm excited, I'm ready. So let's get to it, here we go. All right, what are we doing today? Look at that, like a little family. It's good. It tastes like... Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> smells like crotch. We can just go to the park or Ew. something. It's not that bad. It is. It's a core planet. It's Could you please tell my wife the fun she's missing out on? I don't care if it's got sunsets 24 hours a day. I ain't setting foot on that planet. I don't want anyone leaving the ship. I'm gonna drop Why? off Nar, that's it. So how long are you gonna be planet set? A day or two. A big stop. Just, just licking his companion. knife. All companions are required to undergo a physical examination once a year. Uh, gross. Mm. Gross. Not ever. So two yes. days in the hospital? Don't you just hate doctors? Hey, I mean, the present company excludes. Uh -oh. <gasps> Why? Steve, you okay? Never. Why? Oh. He looks better in red. Holy hell. She just walked right over and whipped him with it. Goram freaks oh. completely off her axle. Okay, she needs to like, I don't know if she can just wander freely around the ship. She gotta go. Both of them gotta go. No, it's getting oh, alive. You better start locking up your room at night. Might well, be you she comes calling on. Or Anara. You let I mean, yeah, stay, that was pretty find out. insane. This is my boat. No one's getting left. Best you get used to that. You owe me a shirt. I mean, I don't really blame Jane at all. He just got slashed harshly. She used to stay confined to a room yes. at all times. Kitchen, infirmary, whatever. You ask me first, understand? Holy. The deal was you keep her in check. You can't hold up your end. We're gonna have to revisit the deal. She's getting worse, yeah. isn't she? Yes. Clearly. Maybe you'll meet a young, handsome doctor and stay out of trouble. You too. <laughs> How are we gonna find a job if we don't leave the ship? There's a client. Me. Huh? I have a job for you. Is something to do with River? I wonder what they're gonna do about River. I mean, what can they do? Do you know what this is? Common immune booster called isoprobolin. Maybe uh -huh. 20 credits. Hydrazepam, 200. And all of these are just from the med kit I had with me. At a hospital like the one in Ariel City, it's more than enough payment for what I have in mind. I tell you how to get in, get out, if you help me get River into the hospital's diagnostic ward. A 3D neuroimager. I might be able to figure out what they did to her at the academy. Don't the hospital need that medicine? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They'd be restocked in a matter of hours. She's right. Okay. They'll okay. never miss it. Okay. How do you plan on getting around security? Now, every floor is equipped with sensors and at all points of entry, patient ident scans. So go back to the ident scans. Mm -hmm. You and your sister are tagged fugitives. Yeah, that's Believe what I was me, thinking. Believe me, Captain, getting the two of us in is going to be easy. The rest of you, that is going to be the real trick. We'll need to procure a few items someone else will have to. <laughs> Only official vehicles are allowed in, so we'll need one. We can't steal what we need. It could end this thing before it starts. First time on the core. What do I get to do now? Dig through trash. Oh, I thought she might like that. Synchronizers. Yeah, see? She, she'll have fun there. We'll have to look like we belong. This is like a heist. This is cool. Bills into the right hands. That gets us uniforms, ID badges, and key cards. And we've got ourselves a working alias. Interesting. Now, all these items are easy to obtain. Patients were cynical and not responding, and we couldn't bring them back. Unable to resuscitate, resuscitate them. Resuscitate. Resuscitate them. Good. I don't know. Which methods did you use? And, and cardiac... We... Infusers. Infusers. Oh, no. I don't know if this is going to work. What about cortical electrodes? Oh. Yeah. We forgot. Well... Let's try that again. Yeah. Ooh. She's so Dialing. badass. <laughs> Not responding, Not responsive, and we tried to resuscitate them, and uh, they, they kicked. They kicked. We the cortical electrodes, but we're unable to get a neural reaction. <laughs> this is hilarious. If I wanted schooling, I'd gone to school. I really hope this works. They're you working so hard. You two did so an incredible hard. job. Oh, wow. So you're ready to save some lives. 
Now we need a couple of patients. For this to work, River and I will have to be dead. We're going oh. to be asleep. And Reynolds and the others will have to pretend we're dead. I don't know. Can she do it? I'm going to suspend cerebral cardiac and pulmonary activity. Protocomatose state. I don't want to die. No, no one is going to die. No, no. Shh, 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 River. River, it's okay. I'll be able to make the nightmares go away. I hope we get to learn something about River. I want to know what they did to her. We... Time to go to sleep. Hmm. We stay together until we reach the morgue. Let's practice it. This is so cute. Let him do his thing and then you get him out. As long as I get paid, I'm happy. But cortical electrodes, I'm able to get a neural response. That is so amusing to hear him practicing that. I love it. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Maybe. Here we go, we're gonna see. We got a couple DOAs by the time we got Take there. Take him down to the morgue. We applied the cortical electrodes, but we're unable to get a neural reaction from either patient. <laughs> well, that was easy, okay. But it's never that easy, is it? They probably didn't even have to be knocked out. So I'm gonna do his thing and haul it back to the rendezvous. 50 minutes. Got it. Is he gonna do something to Simon? Just stay there. They have the fugitives. You got my reward? Yes. Oh. But I got your fugitives. You're about to become a very rich man. Jane! I'm very disappointed by that. Copper for a king. Jesus. I can't believe you turned them in. Yeah, if you're back to the drugs, this <laughs> seems okay. Do you see anyone smile? I don't think anybody smiles in hospitals. Of course they do. Everyone's rich and happy here. Let me see your badge. Doing it backwards. Going to die. No one is going to die. He is. That man standing next to him is his doctor. He's not going to help him, right? This is one of the top hospitals in the core or anywhere else. Where you should be. You have to help him. He's killing him! Don't. What did you oh, give him? Just 20 of our praise lean push. Clear. Clear. He's okay. Explain to me how you justify administering a vasoconstrictor to this patient. Painkiller, not a vasoconstrictor. Unless you combine it with dilaftin. Your patient should be dead. Just get out of there, Simon. Don't don't cause a ruckus. Don't get comfortable. Your type doesn't last long here. Oh. Clear. Okay. When are they gonna find out? And when are the like authorities gonna show up for River and Simon? Uh, okay. Maybe something's gonna happen that makes Jane regret doing that. But maybe not. Maybe that's just who he is. Man, that's quite a haul. Just take it all, man, I guess. That's cool. They opened up her skull and they cut into her brain. Why? Yeah, why? The only reason to lobotomize them to go in and remove damaged tissue. Why anyone would cut into a healthy brain. They did it over and over. They stripped her amygdala. You know how you get a filter that keeps your feelings in check? She feels everything. Let's get moving. We still have 20 minutes. Plan change. Whoa. <laughs> they come out of the bike. They come when you call. They come when you call, Jane. You should let me know when the plan changed. No, no, I can't go back. How come River back. doesn't know that he oh, betrayed God. them? Federal Marshals, don't move. Damn. You are hereby bound by law. Well, crap. <laughs> You're under arrest for aiding and abetting federal fugitives. Oh. Where's my rotten money? You mean my money for apprehending the three fugitives? That's right, Jane. Whoa, what was that? Oh, just when I was starting to like Jane, man. How much did we get? Can we fly somewhere with a beach? Can you make a beach? Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, sir. I didn't even enjoy the moment. Where are the others? Appreciate you trying. Stop flapping that pretty mouth at me. I'm trying to figure a way out of here. They took Christmas away. Nothing left but coal. 
She's probably telling you something poverty, important in her own way. Not in the spirit of the holiday. You shut the hell up. Something's happened. Yeah, something's happened. Let's go. Haley, are you linked? Find out if there's any kind of security alert in the hospital. Hang on. Jane would have sent up a flag. I am getting some weird chatter from the official 262. Ducks. Code. That's got him. Find me a way into the security substation. You don't even know for sure if they're in there. Just gonna find out. Mal and Zoe are always so eye to eye. They just move together. I'm certain you're working under a superior who's keeping close tabs. I'm also quite certain your superior wants me and my sister alive. Now I'm not going to move until one of two things happens. You answer my very simple question or you shoot me. We are transferring you until you can be retrieved. By who? Retreat. People who want you alive. Okay. Come on, Jane. Do something heroic. Yeah, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Ew. Come on, Jane. This is exactly what I didn't want. I want it simple. Things it's never so complicated. Just once, I'd like things to go according to the Goran plan. Nope. I might want to hurry. Oh, is there a problem? The reinforcements just arrived. got no idea where that goes. I can handle the fits. Doesn't matter. They're here. They should use her skills more. She probably knows what's gonna happen. That was prompt. The hands of blue guys are here. Almost finished here. The men were tight-lipped. The girl was just spewing gibberish. We got it all down. You spoke to the prisoners. There was no interrogation. Did your men also speak with them? Much as they had to. Are they gonna erase their memory or something? What's this? Is he killing him? Ew. Oh, no. Oh, oh, go, no. That's uh, horrifying. Yikes. That's terrifying. Who are these guys? I do. Hands of blue. Oh, God. Where the hell is she going? There must be some sort of exit this way. I don't see no exit. This one's alive. They're just killing them. So he was like, oh, you spoke to them. Okay, now I'm gonna kill you. So I feel like River has some information or something in the riddles that she says. Maybe. Almost there. There. Lion's crap. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, phew. Okay. Hey, let's go. How was your checkup? What's going on here? Yeah, Killed what? Simon and River, stole a bunch of medicine, <laughs> and now the Cap and Zoe are off, got snatched by the feds. No big deal. Yeah. Take us out of the world, quick as you can. How was your thing? Lots of needles and cold exam tables. You had some excitement. Lots of running around, a little gunplay. A couple needles. If you hadn't come, you wouldn't <laughs> be getting a big payday. Does he know? You get what you needed? <laughs> I have the information I downloaded off the image. Jane looks guilty. I'm hopeful. He was amazing. We wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for him. Thank you. Oh. I, uh, part of my crew. I think I might cry. I would too if I didn't know what he did. Jane, you got another chance, okay? Clean slate. So what are you buying with your cut? Oh, his cut. <gasps> Does he know? No. What the hell are you doing? What is it, a walkie? I figured it was time for a little chat. Oh, he knows. <clears throat> what I can't figure out is what you were doing around the back. I couldn't go out the front. You called the fetch. Yeah, I he did. Do Don't lie. Just tell him. A lot thinner once you get sucked out that hole. I'm sorry, all right? Are you? I thought you'd never do such a thing. I don't think so either. Good. It ain't like I ran you out to the feds. You turn on any of my crew, you turn on me. Mm hmm Good for you, Mal. You did it to me, Jane, and that's a fact. Nice. What are you gonna tell the others about why I'm dead? I hadn't thought about it. Make something up. Don't tell them what I did. He's not really gonna die. Oof. 
next time you decide to stab me in the back, you have the guts to do it to my face. Yeah. Can I come in? What are you doing? That's really good. I brought some medicine. Time to go to sleep again. No, Mimi. Does he know how to fix her? It's time to wake up. Does he know how to fix her? Ah, oh, I don't want it to be over. Well guys, that was episode nine and that one might be my favorite one that I've seen so far. It was really exciting. It was kind of heisty, which I always like. There was that betrayal, but then Mal set him straight, which I really liked. Respect to Mal, because I know it's in Jane's character to do that, to go for the money. I think I said maybe in the last video or the one before, I know he's motivated by money and I know he's looking out for himself, but I do think he's loyal to the crew. So I was surprised, but you know, he even said just the money was too good. I don't, I think under normal circumstances, he probably wouldn't have done that, but they must have offered him a lot of money also I think they had to have like River stabbed him right in the beginning or sliced him so if he was you know kind of fond of her or Simon or at least didn't hate them so much I think after the slashing he was like well screw you and then I'm gonna get my money for you guys you guys suck I think that all kind of was a factor but I was really glad to see Mal stand up for them and say like if you do it to one of the crew you're doing it to me because yeah he really needed to hear that and I wonder now if he'll be a little more loyal I still believe in him I believe that Jane can be a good guy I think he is a good guy. You know who's a good guy? This guy! So yeah, I really liked that one. At first I thought it was gonna be kind of an Inara episode. It seemed like we were going to the planet because she had something to do. So I thought we were gonna kind of stick with her, but then all of a sudden it was this heist and yeah, it was cool to see them all working together. And yeah, really cool to see as well a little more about River. We still don't know completely what sort of powers she has. Seems like she can tell what's happening. She's more perceptive, perhaps kind of telling the future a little bit or like what's gonna happen in the next little bit. They did incisions into her brain and took out her amygdala. Like that's got me thinking about like, no wonder she is pretty random and just sort of says whatever she's thinking. She has no filter and that all makes sense. So I wonder what the larger implications are of whatever they did to her. I'm curious about that. The two by two hands of blue guys were on their trail and whatever that crazy thing was that made everybody bleed from all their orphans this was horrifying but yeah we saw everybody working together apart from jane the betrayal was real but you know now i'm hopeful that since mal had that talk with him he sees where the line is of going too far i do think he respects mal out of all of them i think he wouldn't want to disappoint mal i think he probably thinks of mal like like a friend or maybe like a father figure so mal putting his foot down like that was really important for jane to see like that's the line you can't betray anybody on this ship or you can't be on this ship so that was really good to see. I'm really happy that happened. It happened right at the end too. I thought we were gonna go right into the credits and not really, nobody was gonna know and he was gonna get away with it and then we just move on. But I was really glad to see that Mal uh, figured it out and called him on it and laid down the law. So I'm really hopeful that Jane is a good guy. I think he is. I think he has a good heart. If Jane betrays them again, I will be very surprised. I really liked it. I just really liked this episode a lot. It went by really quick. I, I want to watch another one. I'm trying to savor them because there's not that many left. I really appreciate you guys watching along with me today. As always, I had a great time. I hope you had a great time and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a thing. I'm trying to do a thing, you know? I'm trying to do this video. Are you a good guy? Sure, sure.